Good morning. We come together in prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Mass this morning, let's first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Mass is offered for Lapita Cruz de Bendia. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have, you have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive our iniquity and receive what is good that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more our God to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain they shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. <coughs> I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord, my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord. <coughs> Unseen I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? 
There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. If only my people would hear me and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat and with honey from the rock. I would fill them. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came up to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, the first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he understood, or that he answered with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Wouldn't it be wonderful to hear Jesus say to us, you're not far from the kingdom of God. And yet that's what we pray for and hope for in in the season of Lent, to be close to God, to live as citizens of his kingdom. Not far from the kingdom of God. The scribe answers so so beautifully and and understands what Jesus is saying. You know, Jesus puts together uh, two uh, tenets from, from Jewish law, loving God, loving your neighbor. But that first part, that beautiful prayer that... uh, Uh, The pious Jew prays every day, Hear, O Israel, the Shema. Beautiful recognition. The Lord our God is Lord alone. It all starts right there. Falling in love with God. And if we love God, the proof of that is our love for one another. Sounds so easy, so simple. But it's not. Not easy to love the way God loves. God who loves unconditionally and and, and loves regardless of our behavior. To love that way, though, is what we seek. You know, I, I uh, thinking about all this uh, yesterday or the day before, I saw that uh, uh, there's a Jesuit, was the Jesuit superior back in, I think, the 1960s, was a man that lived through one of the, the, the bombings, of uh, the atomic bombings in Japan, Pedro Rupe. <laughs> His uh, step towards canonization was, was moved forward in Rome, but, but, but here's a wonderful thing that is attributed to him that is widely circulated, but he talks about falling in love with God, what we all seek during this season of Lent, loving God and loving our neighbor. He says this, nothing is more practical than finding God and falling in love in a quite absolute final way. What you are in love with, what seizes your imagination, will affect everything. It will decide what will get you out of bed in the morning, what you do with your evenings, how you spend your weekends, what you read, whom you know, what breaks your heart, and what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love. Stay in love and it will decide everything. Love God, love your neighbor. Hear, O Israel, you are 
one. Oh God. And you are not far from the kingdom of God. We stand to offer our prayers. We pray for those with whom we do not agree. May we find common ground with our neighbors in pursuit of common good. We pray to the Lord. For our public officials, that they seek justice and equity and collaboration in lawmaking, we pray to the Lord. For those suffering from discrimination, may they be recognized as beloved children of God by those around them. We pray to the Lord. For those who do not know Christ, may their hearts be opened by the love and friendship of Christ's followers. We pray to the Lord. For those suffering and sick, especially those battling mental illness, we pray to the Lord. Let's pause for all of our own prayers and personal intentions the remaining needs of our faith community. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, teach us to love your law and to obey your statutes so that we may be people you call us to be. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Look with favor, O Lord, on the offerings we dedicate that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just, our duty, our salvation at all times to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. So we glorify you with countless angels and saints, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are, in, <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things. You bless them, you make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit, graciously make holy the gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will do reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Thomas More, and all the saints whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of the whole world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing at their passing from life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Trusting in God's love, we can now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil, and graciously grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. You should enter.
love God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself is worth more than any sacrifice. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. We bow our heads to seek God's blessing. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.